Hi everyone, welcome to another Ubuntu tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at how to delete or remove user accounts on an Ubuntu system. So let's get started. I'll show you two ways. The first approach is to use the graphical interface and the second approach is to use the command line. So let's start with the graphical user interface. So you need to first go to the settings. So on the top right, you click and you go to settings. All right. You can also use this approach to go to the settings. So when you come to the bottom left, lower, the left corner here, when you click it, you can search here. You type settings and it will also show for you. So these are two ways you can use to go to settings. Okay, I'll just use the normal one I do. So top right click and go to settings. So when you go to settings, we are going to see something like this. I'll just bring it in the middle here. So scroll down to users. This one here, users. So when you go to users, click it. And when you click it, you are going to see this coming up. So the active account, which is being used to delete the other account will be shown. All right. And then the other account will also be shown. It should be noted that the account that you are using to remove the other account should have an admin access all right it should be administrator so when you go to settings and then go to users when you check that account what should be which you have a large icon like this then you should see administrator here so without the admin accounts you can't remove so make sure you are using an admin account all right now when you go to the top right there is this button here which is unlock all right, so you have to first unlock it. That's the account so that you can make those changes. So click unlock. And when you click on unlock, make sure you unlock it with your password. Enter your password to unlock it. That's what you need to do. All right. So once you have unlocked it, you can click on whichever user you have here and then delete that. So we have users, test user one user two so you just have to check all right so this approach is good and take now this approach is useful if you have a few users on the account if you have let's say hundreds of users then this approach you have to use the command line version which i'll show you later all right so let's proceed now let's say you want to delete the user one okay first of all let's do this let's check its home directory also to confirm something so come to folders here left click it so when you click the folder go to other locations and go to computer so click computer and go to home this one here home all right so when you are here in home just click it and then you are going to see something like this that shows all the users so we are going to keep track of this also all right so let's come back to the settings i'll just put the settings also here let's come back to the settings now let's say you want to remove user one so what you want to do is to click user one that's account so click it okay so when you click it the icon for user one will be shown or let's say the thumbnail you will see it somewhere here and then you will see all the properties or the information about the account then go down to the very button you see remove user there's a red button with a white text remove user so you want to click it so click it and when you click it you will have this coming up okay so it tells you do you want to keep user files so it depends on you if you want to keep the user files then you have to click this. So that means that when you come here, the user one accounts all the information in there. Let me just do it. The user one account, all the information in there, you'll be able to keep it and you can use it. So that means, so that, means that this folder will still be there. All right. So let's say if you want to completely remove all files for that account, then you have to use delete files okay then you have to click on delete files to make sure you have 
deleted all those files. So for me, I want to delete all the files. So I'll click delete files. So I click delete files also. So when I click delete files, then this is what's going to happen. That user account will be deleted and the files will also be deleted. So later when we check back, we realize that that directory here has been deleted. Okay, so if you also check the side, you realize the username is no longer there. All right, so it's not there. That means we have removed that account. All right, so let's get back to my computer. And then when we restart, we realize that the directory, that user account, okay, is gone. And then we don't even need to restart. As soon as we check back again, it's gone. Okay, so if it's not there, you can just restart and it will, it will be gone. If not, it will do it automatically for you as well after some time. Okay, so this is the approach for removing user accounts in the Ubuntu system using the graphical user interface. Now, let's switch to the command line. Now this time you are going to deal with user two. Okay, so let's close this and then let's also close this. All right, and then let's go to the command line. So I'll open a new window here and then I'll proceed. Okay, so I have my terminal open. So this is the approach two for removing user accounts where we use the command line. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so first of all, we need to list our users. So I'll just say, I'll just do this. So let's do this. First of all, we can check the users who are on the system. You can just say cat slash etc slash pass the vd so this will list the users we have okay so we have all these users here of course some of these some of the information here or let's see some of the user accounts here they are for applications all right so those applications they work in the background behind the scenes all right so for let's say active users let's say user one user two let's say for example a user for Michael, a username for, for Cindy, a username for whichever one. Those ones, they are the actual user account. Those are the ones that are displayed when you show, when you check the settings using the graphical user interface. So we have them here. We have tests. We have coach. We have user two. All right. Of course, there are also ways to extract and guess just the usernames, but that is for another tutorial. All right. So this is how you list. Or this, this is one of the approaches you can use to list the users all right so in this case let's say you want to remove user 2 all right then if you want to remove user 2 let's clear the screen let's do it i will just do something like this here okay i will just list them again all right so we have the user account here i will try to enlarge it let's see let's see okay good so let's say i want to remove user 2 which is here all right then what i have to do is to use user del that is the command for removing user accounts so i can say user del and i will specify the user so in this case this is the user account all right and then i will execute it what is also taken to that for this one too, you need an admin access, all right? So you need to make sure that if you are deleting or removing the user account, you are using an account that has an admin access or that has admin rights or that has a root access, okay? Now let's do this, let's try this. I'm going to remove user two, all right? Now, if I say user two, It tells me permission denied all right this is because i need to use a sudo to remove this and so that means i have to specify sudo so i'll have to say sudo 
and I'll say user del and I'll say user two. Now with this approach, if you do it, what is going to happen is that Ubuntu will still keep the user files intact. All right. So in case, let's say you want to check those files later on, then there's a push. So it will just delete the account, the user account itself, but the data that has been in the user's directory, which is also stated here, slash home slash user two, this directory will be there. So you can still see files that are in that directory. All right, so that is up to you. So there's another way to completely remove all the files, which I'll show now. But now let's test by deleting this account. So if I do this, of course, I'll be asked to enter my password, which I have to do. And then it's gone. Now if I say cat slash etc slash PSSWD, you realize that user is no longer there. User 2 is no longer there. You can even grep. You can say grep. I say grep dash i single quotes user two, and I'll say slash etc slash. So it will no longer be there because we have deleted it. But when you check that user's home directory, let's say ls slash home, we are going to find that it's there. The user's home directory is there because of how we deleted it. We deleted it in such a way that the user directory, the home directory, all right, will still be intact. So this is useful if, let's say, you want to recreate that user account. So when you are recreating, you can just link it to that home directory, that directory. Or let's say you want to remove, but still explore the files which have been generated by the user. And then later on, delete them yourself. Then there's the approach that you have to use, okay? Now, what about if, let's say, you want to completely remove the user accounts, meaning that you delete the accounts and you also delete the home directory. So let's test this with this account. There's an account called tests, which is also here. So this time, what we are going to do is to remove this account and also delete all files that have been created by that account in that account home directory. So in that case, what you do is you say user del, let's use sudo because we need admin rights. So I'll say sudo and I'll say user del. And this time I'll say dash r. And then I'll specify that username. So in this case, test like this. So now I'm going to run this. And then this is what comes. All right. Okay, so this message that comes, it says slash var slash mail slash test not found. It's probably because, because we have used dash r, the directory is also deleted. So some information is gone. And so maybe another application that uses this information cannot find the associated directory. So it gives this message. But all that we have to do is to confirm. And then once we restart our computer, we are fine. Okay, so this message here, you can ignore it. All right. So what you want to do is to check the home there. So you can say ls slash home to make sure that that directory is gone. So now the test directory is gone, which is fine. And we can also do a grep, grep dash i, I'll say test slash etc slash this. Okay, so nothing will be displayed. If I also do cat slash etc slash this, that account will no longer be there. Okay, so this tells us that the user account has been deleted and all associated files, okay, all files in that user account home directory have also been deleted. All right, so this completely removed the user as well as all files in that user's home directory. All right, so that's the user the dash r okay so you should be careful when using the dash r okay so if you want to play safe you can just leave the home directory intact and later on decide if you want to remove it or not okay so this is how we remove user accounts in ubuntu so if we've been looking at two ways one with the graph card interface and one without the graph card interface i.e the terminal okay so for those who want to learn how to create user accounts, you can check this other video
Quartier.